10 minutes or just a short break and then we will come back and for this book presentation. What time is it now? 7 o'clock. So, the better would be to, to, to no, this is, this is the, the final thing. But there is, uh, I don't know, people are not uh, here, but maybe we can start with the presentation and uh, because the people are already very, very, uh, very tired. I, I don't know why they're, yes, but tomorrow you will be there. What time you will be there tomorrow? No, I think uh, at the end of the day, maybe we can do the presentation. Maybe we will not, what? What? Yeah, uh, people just disappeared in the, in the nature. They are just evaporated. Maybe they are outside. So, um, I'm, uh, okay, maybe you can see if they want to come. <laughs> Hang them. Okay, I'm uh, thankful to all of you for your patience and uh, participating. It was a hard day today. We had uh, even a uh, hard lunch. <laughs> and uh, th th there is no, I'm sorry, there is no dinner today, as I said to some of them, because apparently it was, it did not, it was not organized, but uh, I think it would be uh, difficult to support one hard dinner <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, okay, then we can do it. Oh, everybody is here. They were, so uh, I think I propose that we start with the, with this um, presentation of the book. So the presenters will be uh, Dragan Poljak. Um, uh, thank you all for being here. I would just like to say a few words uh, on behalf of publisher of this volume, Institute of Philosophy in Zagreb. Uh, when I was uh, presented as the director of the Institute with the proposal to, to publish this book, I was delighted for several reasons. First, uh, because, uh, and most importantly, because uh, as I saw it from, from uh, its contents, it, it's a very interesting book which contains, uh, I think, eight, eight papers, uh, each and every one of which uh, is a readable, interesting, and useful contribution to some of the uh, hottest topics in contemporary physics and philosophy, uh, in particular uh, interpretation of quantum mechanics. <coughs> Second, uh, I was pleased to publish the book because this is actually the first book of this type by published by the Institute of Philosophy. Uh, uh, we, we publish a little, five to six books per year, and we are also publishers of two journals, two philosophy journals, one in English and one in Croatian. Um, but the, the, the waste majority of our books are of uh, purely philosophical content. They're mostly studies on history of philosophy. Uh, a notable exception is, is the volume entitled uh, Philosophy in Dialogue with Sciences, which contains papers read at our 2012 conference on uh, philosophy and the sciences. Uh, but, well, uh, uh, this book is, in this respect, a, as it were, uh, a welcome refreshment to our publishing plan, and I hope that there will be further volumes of this type. But le let me say a few words about the third reason why I was delighted to act as the publisher of uh, this uh, book. Uh, now, wh what we do at the Institute of Philosophy is a um, systematic and organized inquiry into some basic problems of philosophy and its history. And uh, among the approaches, uh, among the methods we use is the so-called interdisciplinary approach. Uh, that is a cooperation between uh, philosophy and various other branches of uh, knowledge. And interdisciplinarity is what we strive for. And we all believe uh, that it is a, uh, a law
laudable characteristic of, of uh, scientific research and research in philosophy, and I'm certain that this is true. Uh, however, uh, even though we may agree that interdisciplinarity is a good thing, I believe that there are certain problems with it. And uh, I will just mention uh, three of them, which I think are the most important and which are reflected in this book. And, uh, and there are also the reasons why I think this book is an excellent contribution to interdisciplinarity as well. Now, the first problem with interdisciplinarity concerns, I believe, the situation in Croatia in particular. Uh, I would say that in Croatia we rarely engage in interdisciplinary work, and I think this is true given the actual number of, of professional scientists and philosophers in Croatia. And, uh, or to be more precise, I believe that we rarely, in Croatia, that we rarely engage in a serious and deep interdisciplinary work, uh, work which has at its result the original contributions to several disciplines, in this case philosophy and physics. I believe that this volume is uh, in this respect very valuable because it contains papers which do provide original contributions. And this is uh, why I also think that it should be read by anyone uh, interested in, uh, well, as I said, several central problems of uh, contemporary physics and philosophy, mainly uh, concerning interpretations of quantum mechanics. Uh, a further problem with interdisciplinarity um, concerns uh, the uh, apparently curious fact that even though we praise interdisciplinarity, on the other hand, we often uh, lament over the alleged gap that still exists between physics, uh, between philosophy and natural sciences uh, or uh, physics. Now, whether such a gap exists or not, uh, I think is a very difficult question. Or uh, more determinately, I believe that it is still an open question uh, what exactly, if anything, physics and philosophy have in common as far as their uh, very natures are concerned. But when it comes to particular problems, uh, such as the problem of quantum mechanics, I see no such gap. So there is a certain, th there may be a certain gap as far as, 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 as the general nature of physics and philosophy is concerned, but when it comes to particular problems, I don't think that there is any substantial gap. Uh, so uh, perhaps the safest advice as regards uh, the relationship between physics and philosophy would be uh, work on particular serious and deep problems and don't worry about possible general misunderstandings between ph physics and philosophy which may or may not be real. And uh, I think that this volume demonstrates that such an approach can be fruitful. And finally, regarding interdisciplinarity, uh, I think that it is not always clear uh, what should be the exact form of cooperation between physics and philosophy. And in this respect too, I also think that uh, this volume can serve as a good, good starting point uh, or rather as a good model because it concentrates on particular problem, on particular problems. Um, so in all this respect, I, I think that uh, this is an excellent volume it is not a uh, work for a general public. It is work for practicing scientists and philosophers. And I think that it is uh, precisely as such that it is much needed today. So uh, what I can uh, do at conclusion is just to thank editors, uh, Luka Borsic, Ivana Stuhala-Karasman, especially to Ivana, 
and Franja Sokolic for their excellent work, and also to all the authors. Thank you so much. Well, uh, Philip really gave a nice talk, so I, I, I won't be long. I, I would just say that uh, uh, I view these uh, proceedings, I would say it's a proceedings of the, of the second symposium of physics and philosophy, so it's a, it's a product of, of this idea, of this very, very nice symposium. Actually, it started as a brainchild of Franja Sokolic as a, I would say, lost dialogue, not only between philosophy and uh, natural sciences but, uh, and physics, but maybe in a wider context, a dialogue between two cultures, as C.P. Snow pointed out, between humanities and, uh, and the natural sciences. So uh, actually the, the first symposium took part four years ago in, in summer 2011. But uh, the road to these proceedings goes on in 2012. I participated in a very nice symposium in Institute of Philosophy in 2012. I think it was philosophy in dialogue with, with sciences. It was also multidisciplinary and bilingual. And uh, it appeared that I, I was in Zagreb once and have a coffee with Luka Borsic and, and Filip Grgic. And uh, just combining these two ideas, the, the first symposium of physics and philosophy and the philosophy in, in, in a dialogue with sciences, he agreed to uh, let Institute of Philosophy to edit these this proceedings. Uh, so it's a really nice document what was going on two, two years ago and if you take a look uh, at these eight papers uh, it really covers the broad topics so, such as uh, some historical aspects on philosophy and physics then some phys uh, philosophical critic of, uh, of uh, quantum mechanics then some uh, always actual questions on the, on the nature of wave action, for example, if it represents a reality or it's just a way how to say what we know about uh, the quantum world, then there are some papers relating to, to also all questions why there is something rather than nothing, uh, a view from the philosophy point of view what is void or physics point of view what we know about vacuum, some papers discussing the time arrows, and uh, finally, it ends up with a very nice paper of Franja Sokolic uh, having questioned the, the basic concepts in physics. So I would say it's a, it's a good start and we, we will have to go on with this physics and, and philosophy symposia and physics and philosophy proceedings. So at the end, I would like to say that I published many papers and many books, but the paper I participated in this proceedings is, is really one of my favorite because it's really broadened the views of, of a scientist with uh, philosophical thinking. So I, I would say that philosophical thinking without science is a eloquent discourse of qualitative type, but science without philosophy is nothing more than technical exercise. So the complementarity of physics and philosophy is really the only way we have, I would say. Thank you very much. So, uh, I don't know if there are some questions, but I have one question. Uh, this book are, is sold, uh, that, or it's distributed, or how much does it cost? Uh, can people, how, how many you have? Luca, can you answer these uh, uh, questions, or Ivana? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm just curious. How much did you? How much money did you spend on on publishing this book? Uh, what uh, six thousand kuna? Yes. But can you say about uh, uh, how many um, exemplars there are, and uh, is it possible? Yes. We have published 200 uh, copies, and we brought with us uh, something like 50, around 50 copies that we have here in Split now. Would, would it be possible to buy it, or would it be going to be distributed, or what? Uh, if 
going to give these books away here with just as a present. And if somebody wants to buy, you have to buy for the Institute of Philosophy. Oh, no, it's just for me. Thank you. Okay, it's just for me. Thanks. Uh, but now uh, the, the participants, pardon? The, it's free for the participants. Okay. So <laughs> who wants may get his free copy? Maybe not just for the end, but uh, in the end of the day, I would like to thank as one of the participants, one of the authors in uh, this book, uh, to editors and to, uh, to Philosophical Institute uh, of Croatia, um, Institute of Philosophy. And I may say that uh, you in Croatia are a large step further than we in Slovenia con con concerning the dialogue between uh, philosophy and physics. Um, this dialogue, as you see, sometimes is maybe close to some monologue, but we all try to, uh, to have a dialogue from one and the other side. And I think that this will to have a dialogue is very, very important between physics and philosophy. And maybe uh, it's, uh, you have this, um, uh, um, uh, this legacy of, of your great uh, physicist and also philosopher, Ivan Supert, who, uh, who was a, um, both philosopher and physicist. We, unfortunately, in Slovenia, we don't have such, uh, such a doyen, and uh, so it's, uh, I, I would like to express my thank to, to you to have published that. Thank you very much. Uh, Berislav, you want to say something? I'm glad that Professor Ursic has mentioned the name of Ivan Supek. 16 years ago, uh, here in, in this very building, started higher education in Split and higher education on this side of Adriatic. And among the, the first professors was Professor Ivan Supek. So, as we celebrate 60 years of higher education in, in Split, it is proper to mention the name of one of the first professors of that institution, that is Ivan Supek, whose work re really symbolized the dialogue, the synthesis, the interaction between philosophy and physics. Thank you very much. Are there some other remarks or I think we are, oh yes, okay, shake it. Well, wh when you mentioned Professor Supek, I, maybe it could be of some interest that uh, he started a annual conference uh, in the 70s, which was called Philosophy and Science, and now it's called Philosophy of Science, and it's still running and uh, this is the meeting point of philosophers and sciences also, and I'm one of directors uh, and his grandchild in a sense, because he was, uh, after him it was uh, Sergio Lelas, and after Sergio Lelas it's me on this natural science side. And there is also a number of directors from uh, uh, United States and Canada mainly. And uh <coughs> so it's, uh, it's running every April in Dubrovnik, at IRC in Dubrovnik. And if you're interested, you can find it on, on, on the web. And uh, spe specifically concerning the physics, we are running this program such in such a way that it's going in, in cycles. We have uh, one year philosophy and mathematics, then another one is philosophy and physics, and the third one is philosophy and biology, and it's circling all around like that. So you can find, I think, Maybe I as director should remember, but I, I think that maybe it's the next year philosophy of, of mm. physics. And there's a quite a number of uh, good physicists uh, there also. And I, I think that the first lecture was uh, in the 70s was Heisenberg at, at this uh, conference. So maybe that could be also of some interest. You can find it on the web, just to enter philosophy of science, IUC, and you'll find all the information. Thank you very much for the information. Tomislav. 
I've made a mistake. It's not 60 years since the foundation of first uh, institution of higher education, but it's, it's 70, 70 years. Uh, I just, uh, by mentioning Ivan Stupink, I just would like to mention that this year is 100 years of his birth. And also that in that on that occasion, Institute Ruzer Boskovich named one wing, which is physics wing, by the name of Ivan Supek wing. And there is a table there ce celebrating that occasion at the Institute Ruzer Boskovich. Tomislav, можеш угасит своје? So I think we have finished. It's uh, too much, <laughs> too much is too much. So I think you are exhausted as I am, and so I think <laughs> we have <laughs> enough. <laughs> and so, <laughs> okay, and uh, the survivors will meet tomorrow at nine o'clock here, and suffering is continuing. <laughs>